oh, doesn't that look a quaint little picture house? But this is all I can show you of Campbelltown because I'm afraid to say I'm on a mission and I'm on a mission is to cross to Ireland. We were crossing the North Channel from Scotland to Northern Ireland, a notorious stretch of water, but thankfully, for once, calm and peaceful. So what's today's dinner, Gator? It's chicken and mushroom um, curry. But it has to be said, it's lovely. <laughs> and when you're under passage, all foods taste like nectar. <laughs> Back in the land of saints and scholars, we moored up in Glenarm Marina. And away down over there is Salty Lass. The next morning, we were woken by a band. The 12th of July is marching day in Northern Ireland, and the band were off to a big event somewhere. Somebody hasn't crawled out of her bunk yet. And it's, and it's lunchtime. And, to, and today's lunch will involve some leftover chorizo slices and um, some bread. That's it. And lunch is ready. Well, Gainer's lunch. Oh, trust me, it's not going to last long. Trust me on this, I'm not going to last long, but Bev insisted that I got changed for it. <laughs> We seemed to have the place to ourselves, apart from the guillemots, who were busy flying underwater. I thought they were chasing fish, but they seemed to be chasing each other. We walked around and found a nice place for a hot drink, and it had a lovely view of Glenarm Bay as well. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Bev and I are having uh, tea and coffee in uh, a little cafe in Glenarm, but I've got a real proper brew. Look at this lovely little um, decanter for my tea. All right, you've made the point. Isn't this a great idea uh, to keep your beaches clean? Um, luckily the beach is clean, otherwise I'd be out there doing a little bit. This is one of Glenarm's lime kilns. Back in the day they used to mine limestone here, crush it and send it over to Glasgow for the steel industry and shipbuilding to uh, help them reduce the iron down to steel. You can't see much here and I don't think the camera will catch much but it goes back one heck of a distance, far more than the camera can see. Well this appears to be part of the old lime works which was shut down years ago. And principally what it seems to have been used for recently is the traditional Northern Ireland 11th of July bonfire. In England they have Guy Fawkes night in November where they have huge bonfires and set fire to an effigy of Guy Fawkes who tried to blow up Parliament in the 1600s. Here they put different effigies on top and burn those but this is the remains of the bonfire obviously and you can tell it's the remains of the bonfire because all this wire belonged to tires and it's traditional to burn tires in the fire to make a black smoke. 
Well, everything's waste and desolation in the old lime works, though. The Budleys have claimed it. And I'm sure later in the year it'll be covered in butterflies and bumblebees. And above the marina, there's these poor devils, who were ripped off by unscrupulous yacht dealers who sold them the bottom part where you live and eat and sleep, and left off the top part where the masts and sails go. Absolute disgrace. We made a bit of a mistake. We misread the conditions for the passage south, and what started as a not too bad passage in the North Channel just simply got rougher and rollier. So we ducked into Larne Lock where the East Antrim Boat Club guided us onto one of their moorings. Thanks guys. Well this is Larne. We came in because the uh, sea state was a little bit too rough for our liking. Um, but um, I have to say the people here at Larne are just gorgeous. I have to say I think this is the thing. We've only been in Northern Ireland um, a couple of nights so far and at Glen Arm we pay for one night and you get the second night free. Uh, here we've managed to pick this mooring up and uh, they've allowed to have it up, give it us for free. We're then going to go to Carrick Fergus, they're going to give us a night and then the second one free. So at least in Northern Ireland there's some deals to be made whereas um, there was no deals whatsoever. There was a couple of uh, moorings at £10. Um, so there was, there was one at Millport that was 10 and Lamlash was 10 So there are a couple of uh, £10 moorings which aren't too bad. But other than that, there's just no deals whatsoever um, to be made. Um, you know, so money-wise the only deal we heard about was where in Oban um, you got seven nights for the price of six that was the only deal that we heard about all the rest was nothing whereas over here uh, like I say um, we've already had one night free this is another night and we're having it free so definitely deals to be made if in Ireland, <laughs> Northern Ireland. Don't know about the south, but in here, Northern Ireland, deals to be made. The downside of our location was that the ferries run all night long, and they caused a bit of a rock and roll experience for two tired yachties. Am I actually? I normally do it that way, don't I? When Beverly and I are on a mooring, um, we sleep in the main cabin um, because um, you're closer to the centre of gravity of the um, of Salty Lass. But when uh, you've got roll of about 10 degrees, not much sleeping goes on. <laughs> <laughs> 